Hello everyone, how are you all? So today we are going to learn a new poem. The name of the poem is Chibi. It was written by Michael Rosen. Do you know what is by Chibi? Chibi means to nag. To nag means continuously reminding or continuously saying to do something. That is to nag. Continuously remaining or complaining to do something. That is nagging. To nag. You can hear your parents are many times nagging at you. What was that? Don't do. Don't go there. Do this. Don't touch my phone. Don't waste the food. Like there are so many don'ts are there. So the part discussing here these things only. So shall we check the poem? Okay, we can go to the poem. Let's open your textbook and we are going to take the poem. Chibi, written by Michael Rosen. Let's go to the poem. Chibi. So there's a small incident explained there when this our poet when he was a small kid he went to school and the teacher asked him what does his mother call him at home then he said michael don't that means always his mother will say michael don't michael don't like that so let's go to the poem okay grown up say things like speak up don't talk with your mouth full don't stare don't point don't pick your nose here grown up means the elder people Elders, they may be your parents, brother, sister, elder brother, sister, anyone. Okay, speak up, talk loudly. Don't talk with your mouth full. Don't talk anything while you are eating food. Don't stare. Don't stare means don't look at me like that. Don't look like that. Don't point. Don't point your finger at anyone. Don't point your finger. Don't pick your nose. Don't keep your fi no finger in your nose. That is, uh, don't pick your nose. Don't keep your finger in your nose. These are the things somebody sometimes the parents will say to us. Then let's check the next one. What is there? Sit up. Say please. Less noise. Sit up. What is my sit up? Don't know what is sit up. Sit up means sit straight. You have to sit straight. Say please. Say please means you have to talk. Talk with me. You talk anything. Less noise. Less noise means don't make noise. Shut the door behind you. Shut the door behind you means when you are going out or door, whatever you are, wherever you are going, you should close the door. Close the door behind you. Don't keep it open. Don't drag your feet. Drag means to pull over something. So don't drag your feet on the floor. Don't drag. While you are dragging, it will make more noise. How you got a hanky? Hanky means a handkerchief. Handkerchief. Hanky. How did you got a hanky? Take your hands out of your pockets. Okay, why are you keeping your hands in your pocket? Take it out. Take your hands out of your pockets. So, these are some things the elders are saying. Don't make noise or say please like that. It's okay. Let the next one. Pull your socks up. Stand up straight. Say thank you. Don't interrupt. Don't think you are funny. Take your elbows off the table. Can't you make your own mind up about anything? So he is saying, pull up your socks. Keep your socks perfectly. Ta stand up straight. St stand straight. Say thank you. Say thank you to others. Don't interrupt. Interrupt me to disturb. Don't disturb others. Don't think you are funny. Why are you making such type of things? Take your elbows off the table. Why are you keeping your elbows on the table? Sit straight and take off that elbows from your table. And can you make your own mind up about it? Can you do anything your own way? So these are things that they are saying. So the poem finishes here. So dear, we have explained the poem Chivi. In the poem, what do we have learned? The things what the parents or the elders are saying to the children. So every time, don't do, don't do, don't do like that things. So I hope you understood the poem. Did you? Okay, very good. So, if you have any doubt about any part there or word meaning or anything else, you can ask me. Okay, drop your doubts in WhatsApp number in our group itself. You can ask. So, we are winding up our class here now. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you again.